little numb. Oh. Hi guys, welcome back to the beauty box. I'm gonna drool. I just came from the dentist. I'm gonna say as few words as possible. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. The other day I chipped a tooth while I was eating popcorn. It feels like I have a ball in my mouth, like <laughs> a soccer ball. So they said they have to <laughs> make a surgery on my tooth, so. <laughs> make a surgery? <laughs> so they put the numbing on in it, like the needle. And now all my whole mouth and tongue is numb and down my throat and up here. I'm kind of on my nose a little bit. I said it was gonna last like three hours or something. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! <laughs> I don't really know what they did. <laughs> Stop laughing at me! Take me to my parents. <laughs> Take me to my parents. <laughs> We're going to your parents' house. I'm going to see my mom. I was texting her to see if she's home. <laughs> uh, does it look puffy? You're fine. Can you tell the size when I'm moving? A, a little bit. You know, have you ever felt your skin like when you didn't have it? <laughs> when it was numb? Yes, I have. They That's didn't just even wait warm until me. you get your wisdom teeth out. It's so much worse. They didn't even warm me. They were like, it's going in. Oh, the noodle. The needle. The, the noodle. noodle. <laughs> uh, don't worry, I'm not zonked down in my head. It's just my face is numb. So I feel like really weird. Well, I'm going to see my parents now. <laughs> can we turn it off? Yes, you can. <laughs> To understand. <laughs> Is it time for dinner, Win Win? Time for the dinner. Let's get you some dinner. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on let's go. Hi guys, it's the next day now, and I have on my Aquarius shirt with Wednesday Adams on it. Love the Adams family. Adam's family is pretty great. <laughs> so I feel like yesterday's footage needs some context because we were in the car and Ty's like, take out the camera, Jess, you're ridiculous. And I just started filming and we looked over it last night and I look ridiculous. So basically what happened was on Sunday night, I was eating popcorn in my bed watching shows and I guess I chewed on like a popcorn kernel too hard or something because about an hour later, I was on my phone looking through Instagram and I barely did anything. I like closed my jaw and suddenly this big chunk of my back molar just came off in my mouth. I literally picked the piece out and I was like, oh, my tooth just broke. So I was freaking out because I didn't know if dentist office were open or anything, but thankfully I called and they got me in yesterday morning. <laughs> so I went there not expecting much to happen. I thought maybe he'd like just fill it. It would be like a quick, you know, in and out of there. But he looked at my tooth and he was like, yo, we gotta freeze you. And I was like, oh no. I don't think I've ever been frozen before. Like I got teeth taken out probably when I was like 13 and they probably put me to sleep for that, but I've never gone into the dentist and them like freeze my whole face. So it was a really scary experience. No, it's not. It is like, okay, it's so weird. They say you're numbed, right? But to me, it just feels like my face, I can't move it and it's burning. Because are you supposed to feel nothing? Because my face was burning. Your face isn't supposed to feel right. Okay. 
Because to me, it was like tingling burning. It didn't feel like numb per se. But during the procedure, a spider crawled up my arm. Like you think it's bad enough, right? You have an hour and a half procedure, your face is numb, you can't breathe because they're working in your mouth and I already have bad breathing. And then I feel a tickle on my arm. And I look down and this black furry spider is crawling up my arm. So I like start flinging my hand around and the dentist is like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, you guys have spiders too. Any more surprises? Was that the spider was not wearing a mask? He was not wearing a mask. They need to be on top of that. That's the other thing. I was nervous about going to any sort of medical place, even like a dentist office, because I'm immune compromised and I'm just so nervous because it's right in the middle of the city, right where the outbreak is mostly. But they were really good there. Everyone was wearing those like masks and protective shields and they had those plastic doors instead of doors. <laughs> that makes sense. So like if there was a doorway, with no door, they put like a plastic door that you had to walk through, kind of like in sci-fi movies. Plastic barrier. A plastic barrier, but you had to go in backwards. It was so weird, I'm like, can I just walk so in? They're like, no. So you don't rub your face on it. Oh, true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. you have to be careful about stuff getting in your nose or your eyes. It was very like sanitized and stuff. It was kind of scary after the dentist because my face was numb for about five hours, I would say. And I asked the dental assistant, I'm like, hey, like how long is my face gonna be like this? And she was like, two hours max, two hours max. So I was like thinking, okay, in two hours, I'm gonna be fine. Well, we get home from the dentist. It's like an hour and a half drive and I'm still numb. I'm still numb. And I was numb until like, what, 3 p.m. yesterday? It was terrifying. I couldn't talk. I called my mom and I cried about it and she couldn't understand me. Everybody was making a lip at you. Yeah, I had like a lisp for a while. Your dad was texting you with a lip. Yeah, honestly, it was such a stressful day yesterday, but uh, Ty really wanted me to get that footage, so. A little embarrassing. Well, just be happy I didn't get you talking about past like, I'm never gonna film like this. My face is always gonna be like this. Yeah, later on in the drive home, I started crying and I'm like, my face is never gonna change. It's always gonna be this way. And I was having a full out meltdown because my face was so numb. You were I don't like it. That you couldn't control your face while you had the biggest frown. I know, I'm like, I won't be able to show emotion. Can you're you like tell that. that I'm frowning? And you're like, yes, Jess. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm frowning? It was scary. I agree, it's different, so different is scary. But I told you, you had nothing to worry about. I said the worst part was after the freezing stopped and the pain came in. Yeah, like now, the next day, my jaw is kind of hurting, probably because my mouth was propped open for an hour and a half, and uh, the teeth back there are hurting, but they all look good now. Well, and I had to drill into your teeth so that the filling would properly sit, so yeah. it just break out again. So they had to do a lot of drilling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was a decent sized chunk? It was, yeah. It was scary. Well, like right now they're only taking emergency patients. When he saw me, he's like, I mean, it's not that big. And I'm like, a whole corner of my molar came off. And he's like, I know, but I mean, it's not that big. And I was like, it's big to me. No one wants a piece of their tooth gone, right? You're talking to a guy who has like three chipped teeth already. Not fun, but you're okay without it. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, the way my tooth chipped, it went into the hole of the tooth. You know how like in the tooth is kind of hollow a little bit? Yeah. So I could feel like the hole in my tooth, which would cause cavities and stuff if I didn't get it fixed. So anyways, that's my story. The point of today's video is that we were gonna try the Skittles Urban Legend. I thought the point um, of today's video was just to make fun of you, in all honesty. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I love I'm you too. I'm really supportive. <laughs> He has so many new shirts that I bought him and he still wears Disney World in every vlog. Because I'm wearing my pajamas. This is no longer going out shirt. This okay. is a staying in shirt. But of course with the situation going on with the world right now, we're always staying yeah. in. He wears the same shirts all the time. So the other day, I, have favorites. I went online and I bought him like 12 new gorgeous like shirts and he doesn't wear them. He still wears Disney World. Because I get stains on shirts. Would you prefer I get a stain Ty. on the shirt or the fancy new shirts that you Shirts are meant for wearing. That's why I bought them for you. Yes, but food is not meant for wearing, so I'd much rather use a shirt that's a little bit older. I just noticed that guys just won't go out and buy themselves things. Like, I bought him new sweatpants because he wears the same pair all the time. Bought him new everything. I guess you bought me the sweatpants before that. Ew. You did. You yeah. bought me those sweatpants. Exactly. Before. Anyways, we're doing the Skittles Urban Legend test. Obviously, it's just for fun. I feel like some people watch us and be like, Do they really think that's a thing? We just like to have fun and test things out just for fun. We so, are like so fun. We're so fun. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. So Ty went to the store and got us a big bag of Skittles, even though I can't eat them because of Lyme disease. And, and I also, like <laughs> I should be eating Skittles after I got major dental procedures done. So. 
I won't be eating them anyway. But basically with these closet trolls, they live in a mess. So you'll only find them, you'll only find them in your closet if you have like piles of laundry, clutter, stuff like that. So we have to choose the messiest closet in our house, which I know which one that is, do you? Yeah, it's the one with all your clothes everywhere. No, I was gonna say the office. <laughs> the office is packed with like stuff all over the floor, really cluttered. So we're gonna use that one because there's more places to hide for them in that closet than our master closet. My master closet, I do have clothes on the floor, but it's a bigger closet and there's nowhere for closet trolls to hide. I love how I'm taking this so seriously. The closet trolls won't be in there, Ty. I hope not. I really hope that this goes by and the skills are left over because it's either Cobbit, Cobbit, closet trolls or rats. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully we don't attract rats or bugs. Anyway, we're gonna head over there and do a little Skittles trail and try and lure out our closet troll. And then the other way to get rid of closet trolls is to just clean up, which I have to learn. So if you just keep things clean, you won't have closet trolls. That's the point of the urban legend. I think like parents told their kids that to like clean up their room. Mm -hmm. But so. where did the Skittles come into this? Like why couldn't it have been like M&Ms or I don't know. Snickers bar. I don't know. Why Skittles of all things? I have no Why idea. Why is it my least favorite candy? I know, it's controversial. <laughs> I just don't like Skittles. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's go to the closet. Yep. All right, so we're in my studio, and this is the door that we're going to use. So you just keep the light off, because they like darkness, but you have to open the door for them so they know they can leave. Um, but as you can see, Clutter, I mean, it's not crazy or anything. It would take us probably 30 minutes to clean up, which we will. I bet they're behind that. We need to go find the closet trolls. She's just gonna sniff. So, we need to get Winnie out of the room. So, uh, she does it easy. Don't tease her with them. I'm trying to get her out. She'll get a treat after. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Mom, that's cute. Any time now. Close the door. I gave her a milk bone, so she's gonna be chewing that for a while. Okay. Keep the door open and you just put a little trail from the entryway that comes out. Up oh, to this, you, Hemini. The smell is nostalgic, but not in the good way. It's so sugary. No, like it doesn't smell right. People who love Skittles are probably like sharpening their pitchforks right now. <laughs> I think M&Ms are better, personally. I, I agree. I used to love Skittles as a kid. I just ate too much and everybody knows what happened after. Why are there, okay, I thought there were brown Skittles. It's like, what fruit flavor is brown? <laughs> it's purple. Okay, oh, they're so sticky. They're sticky? Yeah. Why, like cause- The sugar's melting in my hand immediately. Closet troll, we let them out. <laughs> we need they scratching. can smell it. So are we supposed to get like a, box trap for this like do you know those old school boxes being held up by a stick and they yeah. get some bait underneath are we There's, supposed to do that there was this one kid who used a huge butterfly net a huge butterfly net how big are these trolls supposed to be i don't know are they supposed to be my size because like hiding in small dark rooms eating bad food just sounds like we're trying to catch me <laughs> Okay, closet trolls, we're laying out some treasure for you to eat. My hands are so sticky. So apparently you just knock on the door. Dinner's ready. And, this uh, is dinner? Yeah, for them, I guess. This isn't a snack or like dessert. <laughs> so now we just leave the room for a few minutes and come back. Uh, apparently they come out pretty quickly, so. Okay, we gotta remember the color. Yeah, guys, look at this. So we've got purple, green, purple, green, 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 purple, yellow, green, red, yellow. I'm surprised I didn't stutter saying that. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself today. All right, we're gonna step out for a few minutes and then we'll see if the trolls have taken the candy. Lady, you're gonna damage our door. Scratch it on it like that. Let's go, no Skittles for you. All right. Winnie. Keep Winnie away. Guys, if you have pets, definitely don't do this around them because she would eat all of them, no problem. She'd hoover them up. Kay. It's because I'm still holding the bag. Why don't you stay with her and I'll go check. <laughs> all right, guys. If they're actually gone, that's gonna be like super scary. Oh. I don't remember the order that they were, but I assume it's the same thing. So maybe we just don't have closet trolls. And that's okay. I mean, I don't mind that at all. I don't want closet trolls, so maybe we're in the clear. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. Um, make sure. I'm gonna go clean up. She's gonna follow you. Not if I'm fast. Ah. 
So if you guys uh, try this at home, let me know what happens. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy us just doing these silly little things over on our vlog channel. I know a lot of them are just like urban legends and not true and stuff. Like we know that, I know, <laughs> but it's just fun to try them. How many more times do I have to say that? Okay, have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. They're sticking to my soul. <laughs>